Indu Patitas Prabhu, um, also from Mexico, who met Srila Gurudev in 2002. And um, I'm not sure, it's we haven't got a date for when he uh, took Hari Naman Diksha from him, but I'm sure he will be able to tell us some more on when this was. So Prabhu, if you just give me a little wave. Um, is he here? Oh, there you are, amazing. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Um, Hari Jai. Jai. Then then the pronouns. Then the pronouns. Oma gena timiran dosya gena jana shalaka militam jena tashmai sri gurave namaha gurave gora shandra ya radhika ya todala ya Krishna ya Krishna vata ya tada vata ya namaha. Jai. Um, well, I meet Sila Gurudev. Let's go back to. 2002, I believe, or 2001. Uh, I, I, I was a young boy, like 17 or 18 years old, something like that. And I found a web, a web, a website, BNN. Okay, I was, I, I was from Iskun. Okay, and my mother is from Iskun, and basically I live there. Okay. So I, I was there, I was in Iskon, Venezuela, uh, taking shelter some of, so, or something like that since I had like 10 years old or 11 years old. So, but, at, but I never took initiation there. And at some point, I, there was a lot of misconception at that, that time. Well, probably still, but yeah, also at that time. And... Uh, I, I I remember that I was trying to to find someone where I could take shelter of. Okay, and um, uh, I read this site BNN long long time ago. Uh, a good death class called Love and Affection. It's from 2002. And when I read that, I said, well, you know, this is it, okay? I, I don't want to go anywhere else, okay? There was, of course, big drama at home because I was moving to Naraya Maharaj that at that time was like the devil for somewhere, for, for part of the people there at, the, at ISCON. So, but, you know, I... When when I read when I start reading his classes, I, I I I knew I knew that I must follow him. Okay, must try to do something. Okay, at that time uh, we got in Venezuela a temple in Barquisimeto. Still still is there, still is there, and uh, I I meet Janardan Prabhu. He was uh, then uh, Bhaktivedanta Sagar Maharaj. He was living there, and uh, I remember that I thought that I, I, I knew a lot. Okay, I, I believe that because you know I was young and I heard about Krishna consciousness since since I was very child. So I say no, I, I know a lot of things. This is very silly from my side. I know anything, by the way, and. Uh, uh, I remember that he told me, well, you can be amazed of what you don't know. <laughs> remember that. And uh, in 2003, I took initiation from Sila Gurudev in the Braja Mandar Parikram. Okay. Um, I remember a lot of things, a lot of things from there. It was my very first impressions of, of, of Sila Gurudev. And then a couple of things I would like to, to share. Uh, well, the first time, the first time I see Sila Gurudev, it was in Matura. The next day I arrived for the for the Brajamandal Parikram. Gurudev was there in his Bajan Kutir, and uh, well, everything was strange for me, you know. And Gurudev was in in his Bajan Kutir, and a lot of people was outside. Okay, um, when I saw him. Um, and I hear his Harikata, it was amazing, okay? 
One of the, of the things that I start feeling was the Sila Gurudev power. Um, he moves all of us to do something. Okay. Um, he was like, he was given the, the impressions we need in our hearts to start do something and and you know a lot of things i i remember all the things that we did at that time when sila grudev was present and i remember that we did a lot of things there in venezuela uh harinam sankirtans uh, book distributions all the saturdays we did a lot of things there in barquisimeto also in caracas and everywhere we was doing a, all the seva we could to satisfy Sila Gurudev, uh, but it was not ourself. It was like Sila Gurudev that was that was moving us to do something, and that remember me to one of the first impression I have from Sila Gurudev. He's the paradigm. He's the uh, the representation. Okay of what is a, a, a sevaka, what is a, a disciple. Parangurudev taught Sila Gurudev to translate he, uh, all, all the books from Bengali to Hindi. And he did that for all, for all his life. And he was, he was so fast, not just translating to Hindi, but also you know, giving his comments. And he was doing that so, so fast that you know a whole team was there trying to translate that to english and it was not enough <laughs> it was not enough for everybody you know he was doing everything so fast could have wake really early in the morning he promised Sila Prabhupada that he was uh, he he will be helping out his disciples and uh you know he did you know and, and he was you know Materially speaking, he was kind of old. He was not young, but he started preaching everywhere, okay? With such a power that we had no chance to do nothing, okay? Sila Grudev was doing that much that we cannot just stay there, you know, like, like looking what he was doing. It was not possible. And uh, uh, I remember that. I also remember one thing in that year, the Goswamis from Vrindavan gave to Sila Gurudev the, the title of Sri Yuga Charya. Okay. And I remember that day, my memories are never done well. And mostly everything is like a dream for me. So I, but I barely remember a couple of things from there. I remember that we arrived at that place at a time that I don't know if I was if I was speaking for myself, but I was really hungry and I believe that the, the rest of us also. So, and I remember, and I remember that the Goswamis of Brindavan start chanting. Uh, I, I never heard that before. It was, everything was extremely new for me. And that remember me, what he said, that uh, you can get amazed of what you don't know. And uh, I, I remember that. And Sila Grudev speak after that, speak a few words. And one of the things I remember if that he said, uh, well, if you are happy for me to get this piece of paper, so I'm also happy. But my disciples are hungry. It's late now. So please serve, serve Prashadam now. And I mean, there are a couple of things that I can extract from that moment, you know. Initially, there, there was given to Sila Grudev the title of Sri Yukacharya. It's not, it, it's, it's really something, okay? It's really something, but for him, it was just a piece of paper. And that remember me that Sila Grudev, uh, it's the personification of the Trinata Peace Unishina. Tarora Pisu Hishnuna, you know, he's the personification of that. He's the living proof that it's possible to be that humble. Okay. This very same year, I also remember that uh, he was sitting in the class. There was 
well, that time there was a lot of people in the Brajamanda Parikram. And uh, he said, and he said, I don't know why, well, not the exact word, I'm, I'm not good remembering things. Uh, he said, uh, well, I don't know why you are here. I don't know why you are here. Uh, because I, I got nothing to give. If I got something, it's because of the mercy of my Sila Gurudev and Sila Prabhupada. That's, that's his humbleness. And I mean, he was giving the Prajoyan. He was showing us where it's our object, sadakas. But I mean, everyone everyone thinks that Srila Gurudev, he just give like Prajoyan and just Rasalila Harikata. He give a lot of that. And because he was he he was his duty and, and he said several times, you know. If if I don't give that, this is gonna be lost in, in, in the time. So he give he give us everything, but not just that. He also give us the uh, sambanda and bideya. Okay, he give us everything. Okay, so he was giving everything, but for him it was nothing. You know, he got nothing to go, to to give. It was just the mercy of Sila Paranguru Dev and Sila Prabhupada, and that's humbleness. That's, that's, that's the proof, the living proof of this paradigm, paradigm of, the, of the humbleness. And um, I also remember that um, there was a couple of things I live. I translate, I remember, I remember this, and this is probably one of the remembers that I got in, in my heart related to Sila Gurudev. It was a very short moment. And uh, I remember that in 2010, I went to Brazil to, to his last Biasa Puja. Well, to, to his last Biasa Puja with us here in, the, in this form. And uh, uh, I, I remember that I translate, I was I was like subtitled uh, some of his budget classes to, to Spanish. And by the way, it was really hard because you need to know a lot of Shastras. <laughs> and because Gurudev take one sloka from, I don't, from any, uh, uh, from the Jualan Nilamani and, and you need to know that. And, and he start talking about this. So, so subtitle this, it's, it, was, it was a hard, a hard job. At least for me, that I'm not good at Shastra at all. I'm terrible on that. And uh, I tried to finish this set uh, for for his um, for his Via Sapuya. And I remember that uh, I was there, and when was the time to give the offering? It was like 700 people giving offerings, and I would like to 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 be like, prob probably when I'm thinking right now, it's, it's nonsense, you know, because Sila Gurudev is in your heart and he knows, he knows everything. He's, he's nearest to us than the, than the air with breath, you know, so. But I, at that time, I, I, I try, I, I, I really want to give that to Sila Gurudev in person. But you know, there was like 700 people and we make a line and we give our, our, uh, our offerings and uh, I was not satisfied and I was very sad and I remember that uh, Kopinat he told me hey come to my home because Gurudev was staying at his home in Sundarananda Prabhu's home and uh, he told me hey come to my home tomorrow morning there was he, he didn't knew that okay by the way it was just in my mind so he said to me, hey, come to my home. Sila Gurudev will be alone there. There is not too much people. Come to my home and take shelter from Sila Gurudev. Take, uh, take darshan from Sila Gurudev. And say, whoa, yeah. And I was there. And I remember that he arrived. And uh, I give the video to Sila Gurudev. And I say, hey, Gurudev, I was subtitled this video. 
for you. This is the Badger from 2005, I believe it was. And uh, he just looked to my eyes and said, thank you. And probably the, this was the most amazing thing I, 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 I got. I, I mean, we are, it was very difficult to have the association, the near, the close association with Silla Guru Dev. And uh, there was a lot of us and everyone wants to, to be there, you know. So um, I remember that this the impressions I, I have. Um, well, I don't know if I have more time. I believe I'm not. I believe that it's, I yeah, pass over 50 minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's an amazing opportunity. There was a lot of a lot of great harikata here. And thanks God it's record because I miss a lot due to my work to my work. Even now I say, hey, there is a power outage in my home. So I cannot be in this meeting. And <laughs> I came here to, to speak a little bit of, about Sila Guru Dev. Um, I really, I really pray to the lotus feet of Sila Guru Dev that give it the power to, to at least continue with, to, to keep doing something to him as I, as I was trying to in the past, to give me the strength to at least chant my japas the proper way. And uh, that helped me to not lose myself. That's all. Jai Sila Guru Dev. Jai. Jai. Thank you so much for that. So beautiful. I just want to say thank you, you know, for the service that you you were doing as well when Guru Dev was here. So it's absolutely beautiful that you were able to come on and share, you know, the glories of Shri Guru Dev. So my dandavat pranams to you, Prabhu. <laughs>